Good morning, YouTube. This is Chuck Gentles. I want to welcome you to the channel. The beautiful, sunny, hot Arizona that I believe we're going to be in the 115 to 116 degrees in Phoenix. And so far, we've had now 48 days either above 110 and as high as 119. So it's still really toasty here. So what we're going to do today, we're in the shop obviously because I don't want to be out in that kind of temperatures. So what you're looking at here, the multiple of different coils, and it's come up several times that uh, how in the heck do you get this fine wire on these uh, armatures? I mean these are all armatures here. I've got one in the vise over there. And these are just different windings. Uh, and these are little transformers, but they all got copper wire on them, and we want to go after that. Now this will all, this will not be uh, bare bright, number one bare bright, any of this. This will be number two copper, due to the size, because you've got to be 16 gauge or higher, uh, and that's per strand, so these are obviously not 16 gauge. So and these are armatures are a little tricky, so there's a couple of things that I do that may be different than others, but everybody has their own thing that they do, and I'll show you how I'm going to do mine. So I'll show you how these work, an easy way to get these apart, and these little transformers, and uh, we'll go from there. So I'll move you over, and we'll start on this or other armature. Okay, so what we have here is a small armature. And there's several ways to get these apart, and um, most of them are either too complicated or too slow or something for me. But the problem you run into with these is this. To get this winding out of here, you've got to get these fillers out. And there's fillers in each one of these. And it used to be the old time ones was wood. Now these have, this is either a, a plastic or a fiberglass thing here and what we do is drive it out. Now I've seen others take a hack, lay this on its side and hacksaw these and then it's really hard to keep from cutting the windings. And I've seen others take screwdriver like this and drive them out and it's okay but the taper of the screwdriver here ends up hanging up in the in this part of the armature. So what I've done uh, this is a nail set you know, it has a little square head on it uh, not a big end on it, a small one. You can buy whole sets of these at Harbor Freight for a little or nothing but I've already started on this one and I drove it out and it'll hang up also but uh, you can just do this and get it that far then you can pull them out with or, or take it farther even with a, a screwdriver you could probably do this I haven't ever tried this but we'll try it no nope, that ain't gonna work so what I do is take needle nose squeeze them and pull them and there it is it's out same on this one that we just did earlier because you don't again you, you don't have to be nice with this stuff. Just pull it out of there. So that's as easy as you can get with this stuff. I mean, it, you just drive it like that. Like that. Get down here on the bottom. Pull them out. And pull them out. And so what you're going to do is go all the way around. Get every one of these out. So that will free these these up when you do the next step and the next step the way I do it now like I said a lot of people don't do it this way but I do I'm going to cut this shaft off with a with a cut off wheel and this copper here is still good copper but it, it'll it'll just fall apart so that won't be a big deal but let me get the rest of these out and uh, we'll start on that Okay, you should be able to see now, uh, you can see all these are gone, these are all clean, and this is them, it's just these little, I think these are fiberglass, uh, 
It might be a coated paper or something too. I'm not, I'm not sure, but anyhow, there those are. They're all out, and so now we'll take the uh, cutoff wheel, and we're going to cut right in here and uh, open that up. Uh, I'm going to get down in here so I can get. Oh, see the way these go through, they're wound through here to the other side, so you need to cut one side really, really close. So that's what we'll do, and I'll be back in just a second and show you. Okay, so the plan is, I'm going to try to cut this real close to here. Get all this off, that way I can break this, pull this side, get loops out, and then pull the other side. That's the plan, that's the way I've done it in the past, uh, so we'll see. Okay, so you're not going to get this in one cut, so uh, I'm going to roll this because it's going to be hot now, so I'll uh, do it like this. And we'll just go there. And it's highly advisable to wear a dust mask. Not 100% necessary, but uh, it is advisable. Okay, so that's the second pass. Looks like I got maybe one more, maybe two. Let's see, where are we? Oh, we're really good here. So I've got this, just this one cut here. That ought to be really quick. Now that should have fallen on the floor, but as you can see here, my wheel is too short. Now I need to get a new cutoff wheel and put on there, but uh, we might be able to get that off. Hang on. Okay, so there it is. Not sure how hot this is. Let's see, that's yeah, it's pretty hot. So here's this end off, and all the copper. So what we'll do here is we'll break this with a hammer and then <coughs> we'll get just almost all this right away. And then here we'll just drive this copper out and pull it on this side. So we'll just use a, a puncher, or a screwdriver or something here, push it and pull it out with the needle nose. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, I started doing this already. And I've experimented with a couple different things here just to, just to show you the difference it makes uh, using a, either just a screwdriver. The screwdriver works pretty good. Just a regular screwdriver or the, the nail set that I used before. If you look here, uh, this one's pretty much pushed out. I can just tap it a little bit more if I had the hammer. And, uh, you can just tilt your screwdriver at an angle and let it slide in and it pushes the copper out. And you can see here it zooms out, that one's out. I haven't done that one yet. And you can see a mistake I've made over here 
this one, this one, and that one I missed. I didn't get the, the fiberglass thing out. So. so anyhow, so now we got these started out. And uh, what I'll do, let me try this. I uh, can't remember exactly how I did this before. Um, I think it was this. Oh, if I had my own hands. So this is just a little pointy owl, owl, and you can go in and work it a little bit like that and get it started. And then, uh, there's the screwdriver and the hammer. And then just kind of tap it a little bit more here. And so she's almost there, right there. Now the problem you usually have with these is this goes partially through here and it's wound to one of these other ones. So you got to play with it a little bit and, it, and this is time consuming like a lot of the small stuff is. But uh, in my opinion it's worth it. Uh, the price of number two copper is up so you know why not get all you can get. See now I got two of these lifted. I can't exactly see where they're going just yet, but so anyhow, that's the process on this part. On uh, on this part now is a little different, uh, similar but just a little different. Uh, typically, the way I've done it is either hold it with needle nose or channel locks or something and you can't see it over there where I want you to be so let's see yeah right there I think I'll use my channel locks if I can find it So what I'm going to do here is just because there's, there's just uh, I don't want to call it mica here, and uh, all you want to do is break it. Oh, well, that one's being tough, isn't it? I just don't have a good view and I'm trying to give you a view and still do this and I'm having a problem here so give me a second. Open these up maybe. Maybe I like that. And now it's loose, and now you can just peel this copper off of here. And what you got to get rid of, though, although that's this piece here is copper. Uh, if you look inside here, it's not copper. That's uh, an insulator. That's where your brushes ride on this. And uh, you got to get that off also, or uh, a lot of people just throw it away. So that's it, uh, just a real quick and easy way to, uh, to get that copper, and there's a lot of it, so you might as well get it. Okay, let me show you a couple of the, uh, the little transformers next. Alright guys, this is just a, a real small transformer, you can see I can hold it in my fingers. Here, it's just real small. So, again, I, like I said before, I'm not real nice to this stuff. So if I can break it, that's the way I'm going to take it. So I'm holding it with channel locks. If you use a bigger hammer, this goes quicker. But that's basically it. That's just cut this tape here and just peel that off and wind it up and you've got number two copper. Really easy, don't try to 
do anything fancy with it. Just you know, just I'm not hitting this hard and it's a small hammer. And that's why it's taking a little longer. But again, to me it's worthwhile to do this, so so there that is and Yes, do give you one of these coils while we're just here. And this is, um, I don't know what this is for. It's like a choke coil maybe for electronics. You can see it's wound in here and taped right there. So uh, we're going to do something similar on that as we just, just did. <coughs> we'll just hold it here with the channel locks, won't we? Yeah, we and hit it, and there it is. It's broke. So now you can unwind this a little bit and pull it apart like that. I can't see it because my paw was in the way. And then you'll have you just take this out, wind it up, and number two copper again. And this is fairly heavy. I don't know what that weighs, but. It's fairly heavy for that, and they're all that way, you know, it's just an insulator and it's wrapped around that, and maybe a metal core. So anyhow, I thought maybe you'd be interested in those little tips. Uh, the armature, the transformer, the coils, and uh, anything else comes to mind, I'll give you another video. So for this one, this is going to be a little short, guys, so if you like this video, you know the drill. Give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe. Come back again. Give it a great comment. Thank you so much for watching. I just did another pickup. Uh, some interesting stuff here. There's two of those and some pipe and whatnot. Here's a whole bucket full of miscellaneous pipes and cutters and who knows more here looks like some brass and relays and whatnot in that one and again that one's miscellaneous and this one is wire so I'll have to deal with that a little bit later because I think a mouse made his home in here so we're gonna have to get him out of there first all right be back <laughs>